Good morning, my sister and brother, Bertha Worry here. So, happy Sunday and Merry Christmas. How are you today? How are you today? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. I tell you, another day to give all, give God all the praise, honor, and glory. So, let's get into our devotion, E Shall Receive Power by Ellen G. White. And we are in victory through Christ. Let us bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for this beautiful day, Father God. Another day, Father God, another opportunity, Father God, to give you praise, honor, and glory. So right now, Father God, I'm asking you that you would decrease me, Father God, so that you'll be increased. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father God, to take full control. I thank you, Father God, through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Victory through Christ. And it says, for as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that has the power of death, that is, the devil, and deliver them whom through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. And this is coming from Hebrews chapter 2, verses 14 and 15. Father God, as we go through this uh, victory through Christ, Father God, we ask you, Father God, to open our hearts. To receive this information, I thank you, Father God, for hearing and for answering through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And it stayed here. The fall of men filled all heavens with sorrow, and the heart of Jesus was moved with in infinite compassion for the lost world, the ruined race. He beheld man's plunge in sin and misery and knew that he had not moral power to overcome in his own behalf, the power of his unsleeping enemy. In divine love and pity, and pity, he came to earth to fight our battles for us, for he alone could conquer the adversary. Let me put, let me repeat that. For he alone could conquer that adversary. Hey, Joanne. Hey, my sister. How are you? Merry Christmas to you and your family. So he came to unite man with God, to impart divine strength to the repenting soul, and from the manger to Calvary, to pass over the path which men would travel at every step, giving man a perfect example of what he should do, presenting in his character with humanity. Let me say, let me go back. And presenting in his character what humanity might become when unite with divinity. But many says that Jesus was not like us, that he was not as we are in the world, that he was divine, and therefore we cannot overcome as he overcame. But this is not true. For verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seeds of Abraham. For in that he himself had suffered long, let me go back, for he himself had suffered being tempted. He is able, he is able to aid them that are tempted. This is coming from Hebrews chapter 2 verses 16 and 18. Yes, yes, my sister. And it says, Christ knows the sinner's trials. Let me repeat that. Christ knows the sinner's trials. He knows his temptation. He took upon himself our nature. He was tempted in all point like as we are. He had wept. He was a man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. As a man, he lived upon the earth. As a man, he ascended to heaven. As a man, he is a substitute of humanity. As a man, he lived to make intercession for us. As a man, he came, let me go back. As a man, he will come again with kingly power and glory to receive those who love him and for those whom he is now preparing a place. Let me repeat this. As a man, he will come again with kingly power and glory to receive those who love him for whom, for whom he is now preparing a place. We should rejoice and give thanks that God has appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he had ordained. And this is coming from Acts chapter 17, verse 31. Let me repeat this last sentence. 
we should rejoice and give thanks that God has appointed a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man. And we know that man is Christ, whom he has ordained. Acts chapter 17, verses 31. So that my that is my devotion, my sister and brother. Victory through Christ. So Christ went through everything that we are going through. So let us remain faithful until the end. Let us remain faithful until the end. Let us bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, thank you, thank you for this message, Father God. Victory in Christ, a victory through Christ, Father God. We thank you, Father God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you, Father God, for my sisters, my brothers that stopped by here today, Father God. We thank you for allowing us to see another Christmas, Father God. We thank you, Father God. We know that this was not the day, that time that you were born, but we giving acknowledge, Father God, that you was a child and you came, Father God, and you died for us, Father God, and now you are sitting on the right hand of the Father. And right now, Father God, you in the most holy place, Father God, interceding on our behalf. So, Father God, we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you glory. So, Father God, we ask you, Father God, to examine each and every one of us. If we have sinned against you, Father God, we ask you, Father God, to forgive us, wash us, and make us whiter than snow. And, Father God, we ask you for the power, for the strength, for the endurance that each one of us need in these lives last days to continue to serve thee father god with all our might with all our powers so father god we lay our burdens at our feet we surrender our lives to you father god mold us and shape us father god and father god we thank you father god for hearing we thank you for answering through the holy spirit in jesus name amen and amen okay my sister and brother so this is bird the warrior thank amen amen joanne thank you so much my sister for stopping by and you can follow, follow me at um, burdellwarrior.com right there you'll find our free ebook you can also purchase my book there follow me over youtube under burdell warrior while you're there hit the subscribe button miss my sister and brother and there's a wealth of information in there for you and your whole entire family so just share 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 and with that my sister and brother i love you i appreciate you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to stop by here today. May God continue to richly bless you and your family. But before you go, let us do the four hugs for survival. So here we go. One, two, three, four. I love you, my sister and brother. I love you. Until tomorrow, be blessed and take care. And Merry Christmas to those that are celebrating and those that are not celebrating. But we still give uh, honor to God that he saw fit to send his son. Yes, we know that this was not the time. But anyhow, all of us, the world is celebrating Christmas. So my sister and brother, it's a, it's a great thing to be celebrating the birth of Jesus. But yes, we know that he's not a babe anymore. We know that he's sitting on the right hand of his father. So, But we just acknowledge that he was born. So praise God, praise God. So let's continue to celebrate and let us continue to um, to enjoy our family. With that, my sister and brother, I love you. appreciate you. Till tomorrow, be blessed and take care.